home solar upgrade day two and the first job is cabling all the panels that have been fitted onto the roof of the third floor need to be joined together into a single string and you can see this white conduit coming out of the end of the panel string if aesthetics was the priority we would have punched through the roof and run down the side of the building but it's uh, obviously better to maintain the integrity of the roof so the conduit runs around the roof and down uh, some might think that's a particularly ugly way of doing it but I would rather do it that way than have a problem with the leaky roof so we come down from the third floor down the side of the second floor to the roof of the ground floor and that conduit then continues and makes its way into the mechanical room Meanwhile, a, another team was starting to fit the batteries. We have three nine kilowatt hour batteries from a company called Enruit. And the batteries have a 6,000 cycle life and that's based on an 80% depth of discharge. I'm hoping because we've oversized the system, we will be not stressing the batteries quite as much as that. And so we'll get a longer life out of them. The batteries have a lithium iron phosphate chemistry and are quite sophisticated in the fact that they can be paralleled and that means that they can work together and be balanced and they communicate with each other and with the inverter so that the inverter always knows the state of charge of the batteries. The batteries were first removed from their crates and then they were fitted to a framework on the wall which meant that they weren't actually sitting on the floor they were bolted to the wall on the same frame were fitted three grow watt inverters and these are 5000 watt inverters they are also quite sophisticated and can be paralleled so i can take the combined production of all my solar panels and combine them together through these three inverters to use to charge the batteries or power the house. The frame was also designed to hold three electrical boxes into which we were able to fit breakers and surge protection. 